I've got these, which you might remember from childhood. They're jelly sticks. It says don't swallow it in whole. It's grape flavoured. Mmm. I don't really like jelly, but these are good. Okay, okay, okay! okay. Australian tries childhood snacks. I don't think I've ever been DM'd about anything more in my entire life. Um, this is a tragedy. Zupa Dupa has made a drink. Um, it's Zupa Dupa flavored milk. I don't know what I was expecting to um, traumatize me in 2021. I thought the cycle of abuse and my exes would be enough, but apparently Zupa Dupa wants some um, milk. And I'm gonna try it for you, so let's do this. Oh, it smells bad. <laughs> It smells like, um, raspberry flavored, like soft drink, but in milk form. This is gonna be bad. It smells like spoiled milk. Is it spoiled? What time? When does this expire? All right, let's, let's give it a go. It kind of just tastes like someone only put like a quarter of a teaspoon of Nesquik into milk. Very, very light flavoring. Not bad, but like not a super duper. Hey, Brian, better childhood food speed round. You ready? Ready. Gushers or fruit by the foot? I'm going gushers. Never a fan of fruit by the foot. Gogurt or Danimals? Gogurt. Gogurt I still eat to this day. Dunkaroos or Pop-Tarts? Dunkaroos are OG, but I can't imagine my life without Pop-Tarts. Airheads or fruit roll-ups? Going Airheads, easy. Fritos or Doritos? Doritos, so many more flavors. That sounds good. Hey besties! We're gonna eat each of our favorite childhood snacks. Let us know in the comments kung ano yung pinakamiss niyo. Mine is gonna be Nuda Crunch. Ding! Ito yung baon na gusto mo itago. Kasi alam mo marami yung hihingi. Ah, mix, mix! Yung mga 90s kids jazz. Sobrang sarap pa rin. It brings back so much memories. Today we're gonna try Ovaltine. Lasa siyang Ovaltine. Kasi nga Ovaltine siya. Choco Choco Stick. Last time I ate this was probably 10 years ago back in grade school. Then I can finish this whole pack in one day or one hour. And of course, alamin na ako na gagawin. Add to cart mo na yan! Childhood snacks that were bussin'. Hit the plus if you ate these. This is it, money. If you were the kid who always wanted Lunchables, but your parent always said that they were too expensive, then you're in the right place because this was so nostalgic. I think it's so fun. Just use a glass to cut them into circles and it brings you right back. Enjoy and follow me for more. Hey, let's make one of my favorite snacks from childhood. Get Ritz crackers, you'll put some peanut butter and some berries on top. Now let's just add those tops and now for the secret ingredient, barbecue sauce. I was totally kidding. I love that barbecue sauce, but like, no. And we're actually gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And it should look like this. It tastes so good, but don't forget it's hot. Ah, burn myself. You seem like the type to love me. Snacks they need to bring back. Fruit Loop straws. They were delicious and so fun to eat. McDonald's snack wraps. Affordable and tasty. Oreo Cakesters. I would pound 10 in a sitting if I could still buy them. Yogo Bites. I'd probably hate them now, but I ate them every day as a kid. The Blue Scooby Fruit Snack. They changed the formula and it does not hit the same. We're eating another one of your childhood favorites. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This used to be one of my favorite cereals as a kid. I think this is one of the few cereals that tastes just as good dry as it does soggy in milk. There's seriously no wrong way to eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What do you guys like better? Cinnamon Toast Crunch or regular old toast with cinnamon on top? They obviously aren't the same at all. And I think they're both really delicious. Coming in hot. Drop it like it's hot. Get it 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 hot.
coming in hot. These are all the foods from childhood movies that I would sacrifice my left toe to be able to try in real life. Coming in strong with the Turkish delights from Narnia that this little fatty was selling his siblings for. Now would I sell my siblings for these? No. Next is the Ben & Jerry's from Aquamarine with the salt. I know that's a hot take. I've had this ice cream, but I swear in the movie it just hits different. Like in the tub with the shenanigans and the salt and the sisters. Oh my god, these freaking fat loaves from Barbie Swan Lake. And the cookies. Oh my god, the cookies. I couldn't find a good picture. And the cookies don't even look that good anymore, but I swear I was dying over those as a kid. The chocolate chip cookies. Make it chocolate chip. That's my favorite. Those. The cake from Sleeping Beauty. I know it's looking a bit medium raw, but um, you've had cake better at a bowl, right? So tell me how that's different. Fancy breakfast from the parent trap that Annie didn't even fucking eat. She ate like one parcel of bacon. <laughs> parcel <laughs> okay speed around the omelet from ratatouille can't find a picture but that thick ass blondie from this movie tell me you know what i'm talking about this juicy sauce okay what's up i went to the store when i was hungry and saw the kid cuisines and i was like let's see if they taste like what they tasted like when i was a kid because i swear to god there are a lot of things that do not taste the same from when i was a kid i got the corn dog one um i used to eat the chicken nugget one and like the spaghetti one if there's any others let me know because i'm not remembering I really wanted the chocolate pudding with the sprinkles, but this will do. Mmm. In case you're interested, macros are 16 fat, 68 carb, 12 protein. Mmm. Okay, let's try the brownie first. The chocolate pudding would have been better. Corn. Solidified water. Yes. Fry. Mm. Corn dogs could not have been messed up. They're good. This was very nostalgic, and now I'm gonna go cry. Did everyone like Sloppy Joe's in school, or did people think it was gross? I like them, and these flying sausages remind me of them, but with an upgrade. Think Uncrustables if they were thrown on the grill and with the Sloppy Joe's filling. And it's buttery on the outside, so it's all grilled perfectly and really crispy. All I'm saying is don't knock it till you try it. Sloppy Joe's were my favorite lunch from elementary school besides that cardboard pizza. Anyone else agree? Hi, I'm Josie, and this is part two of eating my childhood favorites. Today, I am going to have a Lunchable Cheez-Its water and a little, oh, this is a fruit roll up, Kool-Aid pack, the deep dish pizza crust, the sauce, the iconic sauce package, pepperoni and cheese. I remember very vividly when these came out, I don't think they were called uploaded. They were called something else, but it was basically like Lunchables for, for bigger kids, kind of like when McDonald's did like the Mighty Kids meal. Oh my God. I don't think I've had fruit punch in like years. Holy crap. I honestly went on a hardcore cheese it kick in high school. I'm, Ate them like every single day. This is the deep dish Lunchable pizza. It is so good. I love Lunchable pizza. It's so nostalgic. My mom would never let me get it as a kid. So now as an adult, it's so much fun that I'm like, I can go and I can eat it whenever I want. Did you love Lunchables as a kid and like beg your parents for them? Or did you just not care? If you rolled into the lunchroom with this box. I'm Josie and this is part three of eating my childhood favorites. Tropical pun. Berry blue. Lime. Oh my gosh, I haven't had these in years. Okay. Did anyone else do this when you were a kid? It is so good. Oh my gosh. And I love the bottle. Like something about the mouthpiece feels like good in your mouth. I don't know how to describe it. I just like it. Contains 0% juice. Hmm. Okay, berry blue. This is like blueberry and strawberry. I think this one was my favorite as a kid. And it's still very good. Oh my gosh. This literally tastes like a melted, like those plastic ice pops, melted lime flavor ice pop. Mm. 10 out of 10. Eating childhood food for a day. Breakfast was delicious Pop-Tarts. For lunch, I had pizza rolls, which tasted like cardboard. Then I had a Rice Krispie treat, which goes so hard. Also, I had Gushers, and the burst of filling in my mouth was not enjoyable. Dinner was Kraft Mac and Cheese, and for dessert, I had Dry Hostess Cupcakes. My Childhood Snacks Part 3. Buttered Toast Dipped in Hot Chocolate. Still good. Chicken Ramen with Butter, Parmesan, and Ranch Seasoning. This one is super salty, but actually still pretty good. Bread crumpled up in a ball. Surprisingly not bad. Who knew?
Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone. You ate it all the time. You even took pictures of it. Yeah. Okay. So this is mine. It's called. Do you remember Dunkaroo? They have a limited edition Dunkaroo cookie dough. It comes with six big dough balls and two packs of icing. Time to bake. Meh.